I was just trying to think of the implications of <laughs> if this could possibly. No, his name is not actually Nick Roberts. This is obviously a big. I don't name. care about him. I'm just trying to protect my own skin. I don't know. That's, that's stupid. Either way, it's Ewe. That's an Ewe. Yeah, it was. It was really Ewe. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to exaggerate. I'm not like not making this up. I am not Japanese. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, join me to welcome everyone that's experiencing this into the 10th episode of the Jake and Kevin show. You see, we had a little bit of a hiatus here. Um, I don't know how Kevin didn't, didn't know this, but apparently he found out that if you don't brush your teeth for 23 years, bacteria builds up and it can get you sick. So Kevin's Kevin's back. He's feeling good. He's, his teeth are clean and ready to ready to get rolling here. Kevin. I uh, I, I was going to do like I lost all my teeth a bit, but I donh. I lost all my teeth. Uh. No, it, it's funny because like I think there's things that like, I, OK. I mean, stupid comment to preface this. Obviously, some diseases are worse than others, right? And, and like in like some like hurdy, he's like, ow are worse than others but i think some are just like like losing teeth it might not be the worst thing in the world but like to me it's like the worst thing in the world you know what i mean yeah like, i really i'd rather really like shot in like the like the arm or something than like like a tooth knocked in maybe not that but you know what i'm saying thoughts here's here's what i'll say i would rather get shot if my options were get shot or like lose a tooth or two and I wouldn't be able to fix it or get it back. I would rather oh. get shot. Oh, if like, if it you, meant if like, get shot. For sure. If like meant like get shot and like, you're still okay. Like, yeah. It's, not, just, it's not, just gonna hurt super bad. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah, I agree. It's like, it's like one of those underrated, like under the radar things. It's like people take for granted, grand granted. I still don't know if it's granted or granted. I think it's granted, but some people say granite. It's granted. Know, it's for sure granted, but I think some people are like, take it for granted. But yeah, it's just like, it's one of those. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. I don't know. I hello. thought I was, I thought I was hearing myself for some reason. I think, I think you're ringing your ears. You keep saying you have. Yeah, well. It's because I went to the discotheca. Oh, yeah, is it? It's probably because of the loud music you're talking about, actually. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I even. Maybe, Kevin, had, Kevin was well, at a bar yesterday, and there was really obnoxiously loud music that was playing, and I'm thinking that that's causing some ringing in the ears, Kevin. Well, here, here's a. I won't go into too much detail because I'm kind of upset about it, but one of. So I mean, I go. Go go to University of Illinois, and one of like the bars there is a bar called Cams, and uh, Gams, Cams with a K, oh. Gams, uh, and I don't know what they did, but they were blaring music. It was, it, I I felt like I was at like a concert, but. The music was so ter. It was like it's like they took the the high knob, like the high frequency knob, and just turned it all the way up, and then just turned everything else all the way down. So it was like only high frequencies, as loud as you could imagine. So it was just like constant eardrum perforation. So it was Yo. actually it was actually really it was like maybe maybe my worst experience ever at a U of I bar because usually they're it's pretty top notch. But, Let me think of a story. That that sounds shitty, Kevin. And one time, do you want to hear a quick little story of a, a DJ related story of mine? Yeah, yeah. So, my senior my senior year of college, I went to a bar, but it probably I'm assuming I don't really deets because it was a little a little bit ago. I'm like I'm like 35 right now, so it was a while. Um, I went to a bar and like it must have been like an off day. Like obviously, like if it was like a Friday night or something like that, 
there's like the DJ, you know, I mean, he's doing his thing. Not, yeah. they're not the best DJs, but like, it must've been like a Thursday night or something like that. Like we went because there was no, <laughs> there was no DJ. It was just like, just like a laptop sitting there. Like there's just no one there. It was like, it must've been like a playlist or something. Mm-hmm. It's just, so I like looked at it because I mean, there was, there was a good amount of people there. It just wasn't like crazy. And there was like no bouncers around for some reason. So I like walked, I'm like, huh. And I realized it was just Spotify. I'm like, it was just, I'm like, it's just a Spotify playlist. So I just went behind there and queued up like 25 songs. Really? Yeah. Like I was for like I was sitting there for like so long doing this. I was like, hmm, where's some good ones? I was like sitting there queuing them all up. I didn't get in trouble because they didn't notice me or maybe they thought like, you know, if you still with confidence, like, oh, that guy, he knows he's he belongs there. I'm like, <laughs> I was like just sitting there doing that. Kevin, not the two on horn, but my songs were hits. I, do I remember the songs? No, I don't remember the songs. But people were like, "Yeah, you dance to the songs." It's like, hmm. all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out some song names, and you tell me if 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 that was if you, those were some of the songs. I'm just gonna think. TikTok by Kesha. That's a very strong possibility. I usually put that's a probably honestly, Kevin, probably I don't. Because it, it was it was kind of in that stage where I was like playing funny goofies, like, <laughs> mm-hmm. like good, just like good, like that's a, I mean that's just like a that's a sing along dance along song. Yeah. Like, I, would you be mad if I played at the bar? Um. Well, okay. Well, granted, it was the, it was the right mood for that. It was like a fun love. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like a yeah, I, yeah. It was a fun loving night, Kevin. It wasn't like a things were not thing. You know, I was Kevin. I wouldn't. I, you can't drop a TikTok by Kesha like a. It's more of a serious like song it no was, yeah it, it has to be it's like a perfect time of the night where it's like you know what yeah 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 it was yeah kind of cooling off it's like a actually maybe peak, peaking up i don't know i don't know what it was but it's, it's Kevin, picking up it was dropping off it was, it was picking up it was dropping off it was doing it was raising the kids it was doing it everything. was doing the damn thing yeah but you know take, i was thinking about though that my juice is flowing probably not take that by kesha but almost certainly poker face by lady <laughs> by gaga, lady gaga? It's like that's it's like kind a, of my go one of my go tos. It's like the same vibe. It is, but I think that's a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's better for sure. Actually. Um. Dang. Yeah. So. Yeah, that experience at at Cam's made me sad. So I just. I don't know. Well, I don't get why it was so boring on a Saturday night. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out too. I don't know. I think it. With the COVID. Uh, I mean, as there, there's probably several factors. Like maybe partly COVID. I know, like during like like around this time of the semester, like I know that a lot of like the like the sorority girls can't aren't supposed to go out. So like Why? bars get kind of just like it's like part of the like the rush process. But because it's not midterms yet, right? Mm, no I mean, way. could be. I guess Depends kind of class. Mm. So that, that kind of sucks. It sucks like when it sucks when you're like super amped to go out and like just dead. Yeah. Is that kind of what happened? Well, I feel like we weren't amped to go out because we went out the night before. So like the, the morale and the troops was low and we kind of needed like a kickstart. And it would was not this like the the like the the environment wasn't providing the uh, the energy we needed. Was it's like some, you know, like sometimes like you bring your own energy to the party, yeah. And then sometimes yeah, you yeah. have to like you absorb the energy from mm-hmm. from the party. And it's like it's like some day some days you're the supplier, some days you're the you're the acceptor. It's like locate the dealer, find the supplier. That's yeah, basically what you're trying to say. Yeah, I get that. Was it was Friday fun though at least? Yeah. Was it more lively? Like lively. So I'm not gonna say who, because it's Nick Roberts. But yes, actually. We're walking through a cemetery. At NickRoberts.com. Yeah, we're walking through a cemetery and Nick Roberts. Wait, just wait, starts, what? A cemetery. So, yeah, so there's like Kevin, a cemetery. Kevin, I need some more details here, Kevin. I think I'm gonna lost the other listeners. So Friday 
we go out we go out to a bar called the Red Lion, which is cool and I like that one. It, it it's so there's camps and then there's the Red Lion. Mm-hmm. And th- those are it's like the two the two big battle of the bars. It's not really yeah. So like and they're they're igualmente. I mean, mm-hmm. people have a preference, but uh, like hey, it's like teach the teach their own. Teach their own. Teach teach their own. Teach their own. Yeah, I like that. Teach, teach their own. Teach, teach their own. the teach the throne. Uh, so yeah, yeah. We're, so we're we we're at Lion. We got there for happy hour, which starts at like three o'clock. Jeez. And like we we got there because like there's really good happy hour deals. Yeah. So get there at three o'clock, and we're just having having a grand old time. Like it's like could I mean there's not there's not too many people there, but like it's like. All right, it's just the we're just we're just the boys, so we're just like hanging out, like yeah, just throwing throwing a couple back. Cut to, I think maybe like around like midnight, one o'clock. So eight nine hours later, mm-hmm. mate, we leave the bar. So we're at the bar for a long time, and like yeah. <laughs> at this point, like I mean, you can probably imagine like the state of everyone's. The state of everyone's being nine yeah. hours. At, you, guys at all, a bar. you guys are all you guys are all Gronkowski. Yeah, so we're walking back to my apartment, and so get back, get to my apartment. You have to go through the university cemetery, or you don't have to, but yeah, like naturally, you go through that, and then you have to, the lava pits. Yeah, and you get to jump across to the well, yeah, the yeah. Swamp, so the you go, you yeah. go to the cemetery, and then you, uh, if you go into the mausoleum, you go down into the catacombs, mm-hmm. and like. That's always a pain in the ass. That's like, a tough one. Yeah, because the bosses in the catacombs are always so like they, annoying. Dude. They are actually tough there. I remember. Well, they're tough, but like I said, you get past that the swamp area though. Yeah, that always that always hung me up. Oh wait, but is anyways, it a I, is it by any chance a poison swamp? It's a poison. Yeah, it's okay. naturally well, a poison swamp. Yeah, naturally. But anyways, Kevin. So so you you go to the you go to the. So we're walking the, uh, through the okay. cemetery to get back to my apartment and. I'm not even sure like why. And it, again, th- I don't have a hundred percent laser focus memory right now. So I'm just like they, giving, they didn't touch the grave of El Diablo, did they? Not El Diablo, but, uh, El, Chup- El Chupacabra, <laughs> El Chupacabra, uh, El Cucuy. No, uh, <laughs> El Cucuy. I feel scattered to the name. So we're, we're walking through the cemetery and, mm-hmm. As we mentioned before, Nick Roberts is Nick walking Roberts. with us, and every single headstone we pass, he's just Spartan kicking it and just knocking it over. Are you serious? And here's the thing: like this is like the university cemetery, so some of these headstones are from like the 1800s, so they're like old. Wait. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Wait, wait, they weren't like breaking, were they? No, I mean like they were just like coming like out of falling. like they were like they're like. How? I feel like deep in there. Yeah, well, I mean, like he's a strong kid. He is. What the heck? He's gonna get haunted. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, for sure. <gasps> okay, I need to tell you something after this. Okay. So I'm gonna get a note of it so I don't forget. He's just had like, and I'm like, I mean, I can't even like. That's not even like in my realm of possibilities of something that I would ever do. No. But also for multiple like, reasons. I'm. I'm in like no in no state to be like telling people like what to do or even like pretty much talking. I I I'm gonna be honest. Like I could probably barely put a sentence together. I mean, if you think my sentences are bad right now, think about like how it is, would yeah. be nine hours into a red line. It's gotta session. be horrible, Kevin. <laughs> so Nick Roberts is just having a grand old time kicking over headstones in this university cemetery. I was just trying to think of the implications of <laughs> if this could possibly. No, his name is not actually Nick Roberts. This is obviously a fake. I don't name. care about him. I'm trying to protect my own skin. Oh, you anyway, you're just telling me, this is what you heard from someone else. <laughs> Seemingly, the way I remember it, out of nowhere, it was like <laughs> it was like the defenders of the cemetery. These two guys just come out of nowhere, and then one guy was just like 
exceptionally brazen and he, he was just giving Nick like a very hard time rightfully so because Nick yeah. was just defacing the dead <laughs> pretty much yeah. so he's like hey you can't be doing that like you shouldn't be doing that and then Nick was like I mean he's he's all liquored up and he's already in a combative mood he's kicking over Sorry about that. A little technical difficulty. So, so sorry about that. Nick's in a so, mood, as you were saying, Devin. Yeah. So the the defenders of the graveyard come out from behind the tree. So like so once you get past uh like past the halfway point, the def- you run you have an encounter with the defenders of the cemetery, and uh, yeah, they were giving Nick a hard time, and Nick was like chirping back at him. Kevin, let me make a quick point. Let me ask a quick question. Do the defenders of the cemetery do they generally like it when you kick over gravestones? Uh, I would say no. It's actually probably one of the thi- the things on their list that they specifically the look out for. They yeah. get mad at. Okay. Th- yeah, it's like one of the things that aggroes them for sure. <laughs> so, and here's the thing about the defenders of the cemetery. Yes. Unless they it, strong. <laughs> no, like okay. they were they were actually yeah, small and weak. <laughs> <laughs> they're like uh, and like it the absolute balls on these i mean i guess it's their job as defenders like they they just have to like they they put on they put on the badge they put on the sword and shield they have to they have to go to war yeah, for the they cemetery have, they do but okay, are, okay really cool question actual question were these like employees of the cemetery or they random no. people no no it was just random people it was like oh. people just like us but just like walking through the cemetery oh but, this, makes it way, this makes it way funnier okay okay, okay. yeah but like the balls on one kid because the other the other there was two kids they're kids one of them really wanted to just leave and leave us alone and one of them was really like really had a problem with what Nick Roberts was doing. So Rick Roberts. Yeah. Rick Roberts. Uh Yeah, so like it, he, they're t- chirping back and forth. The kids like, "No, no, no, we're like his friends like, "No, no, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're out of here." And then the kids like still yelling at him. He's like, "Stop hey, stop kicking over gravestones, man." And just like it totally in the right. And then all of a sudden Nick just like pretends like he's like done with it. And then just makes a beeline for the kid and just form tackles him just like into oblivion. Just like absolutely Are you lays him kidding out. me? Kevin, please tell me this is, this is a true story. This is, yeah, this is real. Okay, so Nick. Okay, guys, Rick Nowers. I'll just paint a picture of this kid. Uh, he's maybe, how do, I, how do I explain this? Built like someone you don't want to get tackled by. Yeah, for sure. I think, I mean, this. For this kid, I think anybody is like somebody you don't want to be. T- he was he wasn't big in stature at all, so yeah, like he was. You're referring to him in the past tense, being a little worried. Well, let's just say, let's just say he. <laughs> There's a nice gravestone the next morning. Yeah. yeah. So he tackles this kid. Then what? He tackles him, and then like they, I think the kid had like a realization that like. That it like it, what like it has got like super like serious or whatever like I don't know yeah. I don't know what his end goal was but like getting tackled was probably like of the better things that possibly could have happened if you're gonna try to fight at least Rick. like well okay also there's a whole posse I know the people that okay. are there too. so yeah yeah so you pick a fight with somebody who's bigger than you that's cojones you pick a fight with five guys that are bigger with you then it's like it's almost like you're like asking for i don't know it's like he like it was like suicide by cops almost it was like suicide by yeah. rick rick Roberts. i know suicide by rick is tough i i, I know uh his brother nyan would have been more than happy to get into the action too he's just yeah his- but no no like so we so we we pull we pull nick off of the kid and like everything's fine like they like just like cross the street and just leave and like that's the way I remember. I don't know exactly what happened, but like they were gone. Like they like despawned after that happened. And then I guess like Nick, Nick's like holding his hand. So he like tackled the kid 
and then like <laughs> this his body weight and the kid's body weight as he's tackling him just like per- just like landed on his thumb and just crunched his hand. So honestly, the kid won. And th- did he like break his thumb? His like hand was like all swollen and like black and blue. So honestly, now I'm looking back at it, I think the kid got the be- best of him because the kid got tackled pretty good, but like, like uh, I can only imagine getting tackled by by Rick. But I, yeah. I thought you I thought you were gonna say he to me be like he kicked him. I thought he was in a kicky mood. No, that would have been insane. If he like kicked, him, kicked him. Oh. Just like kicks his knee and hyperextends it. And that kid just trying like to crawl away and he just movie. picks up a headstone and just just cr- executes him. That's literally like a horror movie. A horror movie scene. <laughs> horror movie or John Wick. Either one. So that's what happened. So yeah, he Kicks, kicks his knee backwards in, like, and the kid's crawling away screaming. And then he picks up. He takes up one of the knocked over headstones. T- picks up one of the knocked over headstones and just slams that on the kid's head and kills him. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Kevin, let me tell you a story before I forget it, though. I, I wrote it down just to tell you. Tell me. Okay. So, for all the audience members, I have a younger brother, but he's old enough to wear. I can believe him for certain stories. And let me let me let me preface this story by saying he swears on his life. This is true. And I believe him. He told me when he was like last year, like when he was like graduating, he went out with some friends and they drive around in his friend's Mustang. His friend, his friend was driving, there's like four of them in the car. Luke was in the passenger seat. Mm-hmm. My brother. Just Luke. driving around That's town. Just driving around town. They went to like a certain – I don't know what it is. I never looked it up. But there's apparently near where we used to live, there's a place um, – there's a place that – it's like – well, it's a – no, it's not a cemetery. It's just like in like a wooded area. You drive past. It's like this big – it's like a kind of like a long drive with like a farmhouse in the middle of the woods, right? Mm-hmm. A huge gate. It looks like, It's like this huge iron gate. It's like closed shut. Apparently, when you drive down this road, it's antiquated road. You drive past the giant chain gate, or like I don't know if it's mm-hmm. chain, but this huge gate. When you go down, come back, the, the gate's open. He swears to me that they drove past it; it was closed, and they drove, came back, and it was open. He 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 swears. He's like Jake. Like it was the scariest thing I've ever seen. And I've and he, thought every which way I've asked, I'm interrogating him. He's like Jake. Like I'm telling you, what I saw it was closed. He came back. It was open. Then we peeled out of there. We all freaked out. And like, he, I mean, he's your brother. He's not known to be like. Is he? Is he known to be a uh, that a fabricator? No, he, that's one thing. There's many things that he is. The one thing he's not. He, I don't think he's ever even like made up a lie like that. Like I, he did. He doesn't really lie. Like he. This is that's like not his mo. Like that's why. Yeah, hundred percent believe it. He would not make up a story like that. Mm-hmm. He's a, it's, it's like you don't. I mean, you know. I mean, like he, that's not like his thing. Yeah, he, he's like George Washington. Yeah, exactly. So he's like Jake. Like I hundred percent. Like but after that, it's like I hundred percent believe in ghosts. Like I'm telling you, it was closed. We came back. It was open. He's like it scared the absolute shit out of me. Have Have you ever seen this gate? I don't even know what you're talking no, about. No, he says he says it's near. It has to be near there somewhere. So what if there's just like. <laughs> What if there's just like an old man who just gets bored every night and just sits there and waits that. for people to drive by and then just opens it to freak him out? I was like, I'm like, it has to be like maybe some mess of a minute, like automated. He's like, but he here's the thing. He like he rebuttaled that by saying he's like Jake. It was a like huge gate, like a huge heavy ass gate. Like it would take like he said like it would take a little bit of like like lift like, skirting like like he said they were gone for like they just came back and turned around and came back like they were they said that they weren't even like out of that sight for a little bit. He said it just because it's like wood. It's like, like as you go past it, like conceals your view and you like to come around, go and turn around. You know what I'm saying? Right. But then, so, I mean, you could, yeah, someone could do that. Like, and that's what, that's what I was saying. That's what, so what happens if you drive past it and then you don't come back? Does it open? I don't know. What happens if you drive past it and then somebody else right behind you drives past it? <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's, but it's, it's kind of creepy. That is that is creepy. He like swears it's like I don't know, man. I don't know. 
I don't, I don't think I, don't, I have any ghost stories. I don't have any ghost stories. And I'm glad I don't because I feel like they'd give me the heebie-jeebies. It would give me the heebie-jeebies. I won't be able to handle that well. My laundry's almost done. I don't really like the heebie-jeebies. I don't I get either. them often. I, I, I recently got a good case of the heebie-jeebies. So I was watching, I was watching this Instagram, or not Instagram, TikTok Live. Yeah. And the reasons i was watching it you, whatever it was it was like that it, it was some girl and she was just like goofing around like on her live mm. no 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 and she was like i can't forget like what she was doing oh okay never mind no but she was like so, talking about something but anyway she started putting context in like colored context as she was like like dressing up for something maybe that's why i was watching and whatever like she was, she was putting these purple colored contacts in uh. and she was like she, so she's like she never she doesn't have contacts so she like just bought these like change the color of her eyes she's like yeah. guys i've never put contacts in she like <laughs> she's like you can tell that she's she like doesn't want to put it in like she doesn't like things in her eye like because like i yeah i don't like things yeah I, I think I I don't know why, but I tried to put someone's contacts in before and I could not do it. It was like I was don't like things in my eye. It was like a it was like a new pair. Like uh, it was like it's like my brother's and he was like with the free sample ones that you get. Hmm. I just want to see if I could do it and I could not because I, I as soon as like something got get even near my eyes. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't, I don't, I don't like I don't like things with my eyes. So I was watching her do this and I was already like, ooh, because yeah. I could see her getting freaked out. So she puts it on, but she like doesn't like get it like right, like right on the the iris. The the pupil. She doesn't yeah. get it like centered. So it's like it's like sitting off of her eye, but it's a colored contact. So you can like it looks like she has two eyes now. So it's like yeah. two eyes in her one eyeball. And then she starts blinking to like get it like to get it like centered on her eye and it starts like moving further away and every time she blinks it like moves further away and it's like crawling up mm. her eye and it was i was like this wait, wait can, yeah. it, can it get stuck behind your eye yeah really i think so let me look that up that'd be disgusting how do you get that out what if there's a guy just like seven contacts just stuck in his eyeball he's like can't get him out <laughs> just like every every couple of weeks he just screws up and just loses another one Contact getting stuck behind the eye is not physically possible. Your eyelid is structured to prevent any objects from going to the back of your eye. A contact lens that gets stuck in the eye is usually a soft contact lens rather than a glass permeable lens. Okay. They make glass contacts? I don't know. I, I, but then there's other articles that sounds like you can't. I don't know. I, that's stupid. Either way, it's ewy. That's an ewy. Yeah, it was It was really ewy, and I... uh. Immediately closed the app and like took my phone, and, like put it face down and just like oh. I had to like I took a breather. Like I had to yeah, take I would say that's I, uh Well also Kevin, you said like she was doing it to go out. I mean actually let me get riddle me this. If you saw a girl that walked up at the bar who's hot, but she had like red eyes or purple eyes, I'd be like, like You know, like but, I don't even, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I'd be like I that'd be the first thing I'd ask her for sure. Be like, what's up with those eyes? eyes? Oh shit! What eyes? She just pops them both out. <laughs> hey. Oh no! But she was like some like, like an alien, thing. like as she swallows them and they pop back into her sockets. Ew! But Kevin, let me tell you something that I just learned because my laundry just pooped. Did you know it's bad to use those little those little um, lint things? squares what do you call them the dryer sheets yeah apparently it's like a whole thing by like well big laundry doesn't want you to know is that those big those laundry. sheets yeah big laundry doesn't want you to know that those those things get like they get like shit on your clothes like because it has like residue on it so it gets like stuff on your clothes it's like mm -hmm. not even that good for like static electricity because it has like fabric softer so it's like not really that good mm -hmm. so what i got is wool dryer balls it was like those big old balls. I threw them in there. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it's good because it takes a sack of electricity, doesn't leave shit in your clothes, and it like bounces around so it like spreads clothes out, makes them dry faster, Kevin. And they're reusable. That's four bonus right there. 
Pick up your wool dry balls today. Dry balls. Hey, interesting though. Just, <clears throat> just a little tidbit that I give you, and all the listeners was... out there that like to wash their clothes. Yeah. There's not too many conspiracies on big laundry. I, big I, laundry gets I, away with a lot. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna say they probably get away with a good amount. Because <laughs> <laughs> you sneeze if you heard that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Just peaked your mic. <laughs> um, Kevin, another question I have for you. I'll say this one just for you. Did Adam and Eve have belly buttons? Adam and Eve? Yeah. Did they have belly buttons? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Because that's where the phrase, uh, you're pushing my buttons, comes from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And they're fooling around. That's a good question. What? What's up with Adam and Eve? Yeah, what's what's also what to do with them? I haven't heard a lot about them in a while. Yeah, is there Adam and Eve? Honestly, now I'm thinking about it. If if the story wasn't what's the word I'm looking for? If the story didn't like in, induce skepticism enough, then then like the names Adam and Eve. Like, did this sound like the first? It sounds like two people you'd meet today. Like, there's no way. What were their real names? Like, Adamian, Adam, because, like, you know, like, it was like back in the day, like, everyone didn't have, like, there was no, like, Steve. It was like Frankie or something like that. Everyone's name was like. Well, actually, actually, maybe it was Frankie and, and like, Francesca. Yeah, it's Frankie, Frankie and Fran- Francesca. <laughs> Frankie and Fran- Fran- Franny. Ugh. Franny's a horrible name. So sorry, if you're Franny listening, sorry, but I just want to tell you. Yeah, so speaking, it, speaking are, of, are Franny's just Francesca's? Fran, 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 Fran. Yes, I think so. But I think you can probably, like, my name is Jake, not Jacob. Uh, so you can be But no Franny, one's just no being, there's no one just named Franny. I'm sure there is, but probably like, there's no, there's Franny. nobody whose just name is Bobby. I mean, I guess that, it could yeah, be. That. But also, like, do you think me having the name Jake is kind of... It's pretty uncommon. Like, just not Jake? Too many, not too many just Jakes or just Lukes. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's kind of weird. That's kind of oddball. Well, it's oddball, but here's... one of why. My parents told me this. They're... One of their pet, like, they shared this pet peeve. And, they, and that's what... I thought, I thought you were going to say they shared this pet. And they're like, we, we both had a dog named Jake. <laughs> yeah. No, not quite. They said they hate it when I hate it, but it annoyed. It's a pet peeve of theirs when kids like they'll get raised, right? Like David, for instance. Their name mm-hmm. is David, but like the entire life, their parents will call him Dave, like since like conception, like Dave, Dave, Dave. Mm-hmm. like because we had a cousin like that. His name was <clears throat> like Michael or something like that. I don't know what his name was. I can't remember, but they used to call him Mike, like it's like from the get from the get go. Like rough the oh, bat. Okay, but like, okay, also, why don't you, like, name n- Mike? There, there's nobody whose name is just Mike. That would be crazy. Okay, well, I don't think it was Mike. They like called him. Okay, but, I, I'm giving you a bad example, but, but like, like, you know what I'm saying though? Like, because like mm-hmm. Jake, you could just be, you could just be a Jake, like like me. <laughs> but like, yeah, I guess. But like, if your yeah, name is just Mike, like if it, it says that, it would be a little weird, but it wouldn't be that weird. I feel like. Dave, if your name is Dave, if if your name is just Mike, I think there's a lot of pieces in play for you to just be an absolute scumbag. What, what about just Dave? I think that's acceptable. I don't think that's bad. It's a little weird, but not as bad. There's just something about Mike. Yeah, Tom. What about Tom? It, like instead of Thomas. No, yeah. I, I don't think that's as bad. It's not as bad. Bob. Like if your name is maybe if your if your name is just Jim. Like it's not James, and they call you Jim if your name is just like Jim. Jim is weird. Jim is weird. That, that's 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 weird. But Bob, instead of Robert, you should, you should name Bob. That's kind of that, weird too. That's, that's like uh, lazy. Honestly, see, like that. I think that's lazy. I would say you have a very high probability of being an uh, 
a, a low level human being if your name is just Bob? Because that means that I guarantee your parents, when they were naming you, didn't know that people who are called Bob are actually named Robert. Yeah. I should <laughs> they just be like, like, didn't Mike. know that. They just didn't know it. They're like, oh, we're going to yeah. call him Bob. It's like, oh, so you want to name him Robert? And they're like, like huh? What? Did you hear me? I just said Bob. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, and then and, – and from that moment on, he was doomed to – Kevin, I have to spark another debate here, but I have another, I have another one for you. you. Ready for this one? Another thing I save for you. Crispy cream donuts, right? We all love them. We all know them. Mm-hmm. Creamy. Are they crispy, Kevin? So my first thought is to say no, but – Here's the thing. I feel like there is a a certain a certain there's a crisp, crisp factor a little bit. There's yeah. a certain crisp of like so if you I mean, and this isn't even the ideal way to eat it, but if you have like a room temperature crispy cream glazed donut and you take yeah. a bite into it, there is there is a little like, when the like when crisp. the when the frosting breaks, it's like a little bit of a a little bit of a crisp. I'll give them that. Yeah. But the way you should be eating it, you should be eating them warmed up. You yeah. should put them in the microwave for like eight to twelve seconds, and then they're nice and like ooey gooey. And then yeah. there's no crisp. There's no crisp. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Okay, that's a, the last question I have for you, Kevin. Is uh, these are the burning questions I had. I had to get your input. Logic. What's up with him these days? Yeah. What is he like a streamer now? He like streams on Twitch. Does he? I think you're asking maybe, me. I, well, I know he used he did stream on Twitch. I don't know. He's oh. he's always like an oddball to me. Yeah. I didn't. Well, I just did haven't heard of him like years. Did you know that he's half black? I didn't think he was half. Is I he? think he's like half. Well, he black. says. I know he says the n word. He says, "I'm black. I'm black. Hey, whoa, I'm black." Like it was like a huge. Well, thing. that's how I found out. Like I, I thought he was just like uh, like some white guy. He's. What if you're like I an mean, albino he, black half with white? That's like half to do what he is. I don't even know. He does kind of look. He does kind of look weird. Like, if you're albino, albino and you have a kid, that kid's not doomed to not albino. Not necessarily. Like what? Like what? I guess not doomed. Mean, but, but how does that work? What if you like you're half black, but you're half white, and like, but you have the albino gene? Like, does that only? But can you be a white albino? Yeah, you can. Yeah. So what if he's like a half black and white, black and white albino? That could be what he is. Honestly, he looks interesting. Well, he's definitely not an albino. His like hair is like brown, right? He's brown hair. He just, he, you know, what he looks like? He's like a Tupac. So you know how like when they were developing the Captain America serum, like obviously the first test didn't go right. <laughs> it looks like so. Picture if Blake Griffin is the final Chris Evans Captain America. Logic looks like he's like trial number like four. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not even yeah. saying like if you because like Blake Griffin kind of has the same thing going on where he's like he does actually you're right because like Blake Griffin's I think he's is part, he? he's I think he well, I mean yeah right I don't know I think he's part black but they have like the same like he's like a he's like kind of like ginger but he's like black but he doesn't look yeah. black maybe it's like he's kind of like, like one of those like like yeah. It's like ambiguous. Yeah. And then you find out find out they're just like like Hawaiian. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Speaking of ethnicities, Kevin. Okay. Honest answer, I have to know. Are you Japanese? For the like like since the hundred years I've known you, I thought you were half Japanese and half Puerto I know for a fact you're half Puerto Rican. I know for a fact you're half Puerto Rican. But why? Why do you? Why do you even ask me this? I thought. What? Well, because I've always talked to you, and you, you're so, uh, so sure that I'm Japanese. I'm so sure Japanese. So why are you? Can... Why are you doubting it now? Because I'm doubting it. Because well, first of all, for years. Okay, let me just say, for years, I've thought you're Japanese. I've, I've always thought you're Japanese, and like I've always said, how I like, I admire Japanese culture. I do. Because I think they're cool. And I've said that to you like in multiple occasions and multiple like 
circumstance and you never correct me or like say oh you know i'm not japanese or like you're like oh yeah like yeah that's cool like you like so th- there's no reason for me to believe you're not the only thing that makes you think that is lately your brother is been saying you know we're not actually japanese right i'm like are you actually are you japanese or not i need to know i feel like there's like so many so many levels of like tomfoolery going on and it, it could be like a complete like it could be a bl- it could be like a bluff it could be like a double bluff a blind bluff you like you have no i have all the power right now all the all the cards in my hand i don't know what you are but it doesn't make any sense if you're not oh. japanese <laughs> in in that podcast my background was the japanese flag the rising yeah. sun yeah This has to be like, if anything, it's just a long running joke that you just somehow for okay. literal years. So here, here's the thing. At. And this is the hand on the Bible. God's honest truth. And I'm not the uh, zero zero. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to exaggerate. I'm not like not making this up. I am not Japanese. Not even like I don't even think. I mean, I haven't done the 23 Me, but I don't think I'm like an, any part Japanese. Uh-huh. So I'm 50% Puerto Rican, 25% Chinese, and 25% Thai, like Thailand. Here's the thing. So recently... I've been messing with you saying that I am Japanese because I think it is really funny because every time you bring it up, you like say it in such a matter of fact way. And it's like, it's hilarious because I have no idea where you got that idea from. And I actually didn't know that you didn't know that I wasn't Japanese until I think maybe like a year ago, you said it once. And then I, I think this is exactly what happened. You said like, Oh, like, it's like it's because you're Japanese and then I was like oh but I'm not Japanese and then you're like yeah you are you are Japanese (laughs) and you were like (laughs) you're like Kevin I thought you were Japanese for the entirety of our friendship there's no way you aren't Japanese and then ever since then I just every time you bring it up I just go with it but Dude. I didn't know that you didn't know. Well, I didn't until... just make it up. Obviously, you like, it was just said it. I, I didn't just think you're Japanese out of nowhere. But I, it's not like I don't think anybody in the entire world, like th- that I've like known, like just like thought like thought I was Japanese. And let's say they just assumed it. Like I don't know if like I don't know if we. I don't know. Like I don't know if we had like. A conversation like seventh grade and i just like made it up on a whim and then like you've just been sitting on that information i'm telling this you i didn't just there's time. no way i don't there's no way i'm gonna fr- remember the origin but you had to have said that okay well unless unless like 13 year old me was just like this is gonna be hilarious one day and i just like said that to you and then for some reason it just never came back up for like 10 years and then like it finally just gets uprooted now but yeah like yeah, so Jim texted me like a couple days ago. He's like, he's like, you're not Japanese, are you? He's like, because I I know I know you're not Japanese. I was like, no, I'm not Japanese. Like what? And then like as soon as he said that, like I knew he was like talking to you. <laughs> yeah, but I and was then defending. I, I was like, no, he is Japanese. Like, yeah, we're talk, let's talk about him. He's like, no, I just texted Kevin. And he's like, he's not. I'm like, like okay, you just made that up. He goes, and then I thought he was in on it. <laughs> yeah, I, I like, told him. What? I told him I was like, I, I'm not Japanese, but for some reason Jake is adamant that I am Japanese. So I've just been going with it for like the last like year, because I I promise you, any time before, like a year ago, I'm gonna say a year ago was is around then sometime. Any time that I like hinted at being Japanese or like said I was Japanese, like like to affirm your beliefs, it was just happenstance, and like I had no idea what you're talking about. Because I had no idea that you didn't know that I wasn't Chinese until like very recently, and then it just became super funny to me. Mm. And I don't think David yeah, knew either because yeah, the yeah, first 
<laughs> the first time you said that, we both looked at because like we were in di- we were all in Discord and like me and David's desk are like like parallel with each other. So like every time something happens, like we just like look at each other and we like it's kind of like a Jim Helper moment. We're just like, yeah. <laughs> so like when you said that and like you were like. No, that's like you guys. You guys are Japanese. Like you, you were like going in on like how Japanese we were, and we we're just looking at each other, just like laughing. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. So, I, I mean, for I'm the most happy. part, for the most part, I don't. I up until about a year ago, I wasn't leading you astray. I just had no idea uh, that you didn't know. But I will take. I will say that I. I apologize for. Get it squeezing like a couple like funny moments out of the last like couple months. Dude, I was like I don't know. I mean, I to, okay, I'll put you this way. To show how strongly I believe you're Japanese, I still think there's a chance that you're lying to me. That's how much I think you're Japanese. <laughs> but I'm like, okay, that was really sincere. It's probably not. But like that's just showing you how much I like you could still be lying. But I can't remember who told me you I but the thing is, the only flaw, the critical flaw in my whole thing is, I don't remember where I came to the conclusion that you were Japanese. I honestly have no idea. I, But I do remember, and this is one of those things where, like, I think looking back at it, I understand, like, what you're talking about. Like, I always say stuff about Japanese, and, like, you never, like, correct me. So I think your freshman year, you bought a Japanese, like, the old, like, yeah, Japanese, did, did. like, rising sun flag yeah. and like you were showing it to me and i i thought it was like funny because you bought like just like randomly had like the old japanese flag so like maybe my reaction like you misconstrued it but i just thought it was funny because like why would you have that but then also like i think you were showing me like kevin look i have like <laughs> uh, so that's so i think that's the only time i can think of like like that's the furthest back I can remember. Like where, like I I could see like this like like the miscommunication, but that's definitely not where it started. Because yeah, I feel like that was already seated in your head. Before it was already then. seated in my head. I thought <laughs> like as far as I can remember, I thought you were Japanese. So yeah, that's really funny. <sighs> so whatever. I'm so you're kind of a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs> you're the bad friend dick no i mean it's kind of it's kind of i mean i don't know if you're a bad friend or just a bad person but you i think you just like assumed my race this whole time no 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 maybe but probably not all right kevin that's really funny though i think There's... it's time for me to unload my my uh, my big laundry but this is like, I, had I don't a really know what that's code talking. for, but <laughs> I you know what? my big laundry than then take out my laundry. I hit the sack, <laughs> then go to bed. Yeah. You know what I'll say, guys? It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Kevin, glad to see you healthy. And uh looking forward to uh, you know talking with the viewers and uh answering yeah. the big questions out there. Uh, you know what? We're me and Jake. We're never gonna promise anything, but we'll give you guarantees. We'll give you a Jake and Kevin guarantee that uh that we're 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 back. <laughs> we're gonna we'll be doing the damn thing. All right. Yeah. I was getting hate mail. Like it was got kind of bad. So. Yeah, and like. I don't know like how you guys found our PO box and I don't even know why we have a PO box, but uh, can you please uh, stop sending goldfish to the PO box? Cause like we don't check it that regularly and all those goldfish are just dying. I don't know if that's like, if that's like a, again, a code for something or like if we said something about goldfish or what, but not like the snack goldfish, like real life goldfish, like you get from like a carnival. I want to go. I want to go fish once. Really? A little bit. Mm-hmm. What's a little bit? Uh, not a long time. I was like, Ooh. Ooh. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. 
I think this concludes the tenth episode. Kevin. Yeah. Any thoughts? Any closing remarks? Um. See you guys in the eleventh episode. <laughs> that's all. I, that's all I can say. We're just. We're just really glad that. I mean, maybe there's someone out there listening. We're just. We're just. We appreciate you guys. And uh, sorry for taking that hiatus. And God bless America. God bless America. That was good, Kevin. I like that. Yeah.